Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to continue with our UI elements. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everybody who subscribes and hits the notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of this video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can feel free to subscribe or you can visit the Patreon in the description below or simply join the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So in the last video, we created a couple of elements in our new screen and we're going to expand upon that by creating a new class. So what we need to do is start off by defining a new class. Now, you can use your other classes as a template. So we just say class clicky and then in brackets object but we're just gonna crack on and do this. So the first thing we want to do is create an UI element like that. And it's going to be an object like that. And then when we initialize this class, we want to say, first of all, let me just give that brackets there. First thing we need to put in there is self. And next thing we need to do is we need to create an X and a Y coordinate. These are where the icon for it is going to appear in the screen. Then we need to create a file path. And then we need to create a return, but we can't call it return because that's a reserved word. So we'll just call it an um, funk. We'll just call it funk. There we go. Funk with a C. So we've got an X and a Y, a file path and a funk. And the last thing I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna give it an is active flag. And we're gonna spell active correctly. There we go. I'm actually gonna just put some capitals in here just to make sure that everything is functioning correctly and it's easy to spot any mistakes. There we go. So we're gonna say self dot X equals X, self dot Y equals y self dot file path equals file path self dot funk equals funk and self dot is active equals is active. now if you remember from our previous videos you don't necessarily have to call the property that's inserted the same as the item within the class but we just do that because it makes finding errors a lot simpler. So that's what we've got there. We've got our class. Next thing we can do is create a list. So we can call this UI elements and empty list like that. And then we can append our items to that list. So I keep pressing that button. There we go. So we're going to say UI elements dot append and then we're going to call and copy the name of our class like so. Just going to insert brackets in there. So the well, first thing we need to do is create an X and a Y. Now for our nav button, I'm quite happy to leave that in the top left hand corner, but I've acquired some new icons. So what I'm thinking of doing is having it in the top right hand corner as kind of a band of buttons. So that's what we're going to do. So X, we're going to have it at about 1850. And Y, we're going to have it at about three. File path. Now this is where you need to access your directory full of icons, which I already have here. So I'm just going to move that off the screen so that I can see what I need to type. So it's in UI forward slash and then this one is going to be our nav icon so i'm just going to type in nav icon small dot png like that and then it's going to return it's going to return a text string and we're just going to say nav and then in it is active is going to be true beautiful so before we go any further with this let's go back to our screen and we're actually going to rotate through these so we're going to copy the name of that list and then we're going to come to our top bar, which is somewhere in amongst there. There it is. And all we're going to do is we're going to remove the H box like so. And we're going to say for Q in UI elements. Now I'm going to copy that again just to be safe. 
copy that, come into here. There we go. Okay, so if Q dot is active, so we don't want to even do the slightest little thing if that is, um, if it's not active. And I've just noticed something else that we could do. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. We can have some additional functionality in there as well. We can have an additional toggle variable if that's true. And we can also have a tooltip in our class. So let's come back to our class. And we're going to add some new stuff in here. So we're going to call this one tip. And we're going to have additional like so. So we're going to come into here and we're going to say self.ttip equals ttip self.additional equals additional like that. So we just need to, after it says func. In fact, no, we don't need to do the additional. We can leave that out because we can have that as a function inside the scripts.rpy. So we're going to just keep the tooltip. So we just need to put a tooltip in here. And we're going to call our tooltip uh, toggle nav menu. Happy day. So that's that one ready to go. So now we'll come back into our top bar class and we can start changing some of this stuff. So we're going to say image button. So we're going to just going to actually going to nudge this across like that and we're going to get rid of this one altogether but we'll keep it there for now just because we need that information so we're going to say x pause is q dot x y pause is q dot y over is q dot file path just remember that's a capital x and that's a capital y that control C control V and now we're going to say uh, click type equals UI so we can just copy that and pop that in there and we can say return Q dot funk and then we're going to change that to Q dot T tip like that. So assuming that we've done everything correctly and we haven't made any typos, that should function correctly. So we'll quickly run that and see if that operates as expected. Now we haven't changed the script.rpy file yet, so the button won't do anything, but as we can see, yes, that's appeared exactly where I wanted it to appear. And that's exactly what we want. So as you can see, we hover over it, it says toggle nav menu, and it just doesn't do anything because we don't currently have an option for that in our script RPY. So we can close that down and we can come back to here and we can create our other buttons. So we're just going to control C and we're going to add, I think, four buttons in total. And I'm just going to pull up my file name list. So now we're going to add the next button which I'm just going to have as like a check mark icon. Now these icons are 50 apart. So we want this to be at 1780 across so that it gives us the same gap between the buttons and the edge of the screen. Although we could actually just say 1795 so that there's a smaller gap so that it looks like a bunch of bars. So we've got, what's this icon called? Tasks icon, small. And then that one is going to be skip forward is going to be our tooltip. And so this one is going to be uh, next like that. The next button that I'm going to put up is going to be at 1795 minus 55 is 1840. And this one's going to be man nav. And so this one's just going to be uh, man for now and we can just change that tooltip to character screen like that 
and then the last one we'll have is mail and we can you can change the functions of these later um, it doesn't matter because the 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 script RPY, unless you explicitly tell the scripts to RPY file what to do when these values are returned, it'll just be a null button. So we can say um, access mail just for the sake of simplicity. And this one, so this one needs to be 55 off of that, which makes this one 85, 1785. That needs to be. And then I've just got one more button to put in. And that's going to be the volume button. So we can play sound icon small. So this one's going to be 1730. That one's going to be sound. And again, you can change the functions of these. You can do whatever you want, really. I'm just using these as examples. And we could have that as a toggle sound button. Perfect. So again, if we save that now, if we run that, we can check if all of our icons exist or not hit start you can see we've got a bit of a hodgepodge there so something is not quite right with the um, icon values there's a gap there there's a gap there but two of these are in a very odd place which tells me that I have gotten to change some values yes I have there we go down to 1850 1795 1740 16 16 boom when we hit start there we go now our icons are all correctly spaced out there's a weird artifact on there which we can fix probably in Photoshop. As you can see, all of our icons are there. They all have their own tool tips and that's good to go. So we'll close that down, we'll say yes, and then that's good. So the last thing we need to do to make this work is come into our script.rpy file. And as you can see, we can simply change that to a capital N because that's what that button returns. And we can say if UI return equals equals and then we can come back to our class file find out what the map icon returns and it returns nav with a capital n so into script we can say nav and then we can say we can toggle the variable basically and we do that by simply saying oh, there we go into our defaults variables so we can see our nav menu is the variable that we want so we're going to copy that and we're simply going to say nav menu equals uh, not nav menu and that should function correctly but just to make absolutely sure i'm actually going to get rid of that i'm just going to type it in not nav menu and then that will give us what we're after so now we've got the two elements in our ui which we already had just displayed as different icons and all contained within a screen so now we can come back to our top bar screen and we can remove that one like that and that is our screen done so all we need to do now is where we've added new buttons if we want to add functionality to them we just simply say if you are return equals equals and then whatever that button returns and then whatever we want the game to do in that instance and that's that element done i hope you found that useful guys let me know what you think in the comments below give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you think i deserve it and i'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves guys bye bye